In this video, we're gonna go through some Ethereum Classic and Edhash miners for home. So here are my little ASIC miners. They can do Ethereum Classic, they can do Edhash, base coins. Some of them can dual mine, some of them cannot. I've just got them together to start do some testing on them to see what's profitable, what's not, what can dual mine, what can't, what does it make, what does it not make, does it make sense to run or not. And so I actually have also a little bit of a plan for some of these to warm up my house a little bit. It's getting chilly, which speaking of, it's the fall. Temperatures are dropping. <laughs> Electric rates are dropping with the winter rates. And I'm getting a little nostalgic for some mining. And just the sound of these humming is getting me excited. So I figure we'll go through these. I did a lot of testing, actually. I have a plan for this video. And I have a lot of results um, that if you're nerdy like me and you want to take a look, we've got some cool charts coming up. And then what I haven't done yet, I promise, is actually look at some profitability. So it's going to be a surprise to me what these make, what they don't make. Does it make sense for me to run? Does it make sense for me to run at a loss if it's going to provide me some heat? We'll see. We'll go through that uh, in this video. So I think I want to start over here. Some of these are old, by the way. Some of them are new. Some of them I'd never made a video on. Um, but starting over here, this is the iPolo, has been running for a long time. Actually, when I turned pretty much everything off after the merge, I just moved this to ETC and I let it do its thing in my garage. This thing has been running for years and years, rock solid. It's got Wi-Fi. I have updated it so it can now do um, dual mining. So that's been doing Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. Well, I'm going to run this in the back room and hide it creatively. It's an older one, so I don't think it makes too much money these days, um, but we're gonna check that out uh, in a little bit. And then we're gonna go over to this guy. So these are um, Jazz Miners, both sent from Jingle Mining. This is the uh, Jazz Miner X41U. It's designed to fit in a server rack and only take up a single space. It's very loud, especially compared to the one we're gonna get to in a little bit. This uh, came to me when Ethereum was able to be mined, uh, and it did very, very well for its time. And if memory serves, this one cannot do dual, dual <laughs> This one cannot do dual mining. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving it in. This one can't dual mine. I think because the DAG takes so long to generate on this miner. It takes like a half hour for it to get started. So by the time a Zillica round would come, it wouldn't be able to, to shift over and do that. Um, though it may still make some money. It's got a couple different modes you can run it on. So we're gonna take a look at that uh, in a little bit. Where should we go next? Let's go to this one. This one's got a little bit of a story. This is the iPolo X1. It's a very unique uh, ETC miner. It can do uh, dual mining, <laughs> but it's kind of ridiculous. And I'll tell you the story on this in a second here. So you can plug it. It's like, it mimics like a GPU. It's on and it's very, very warm. It mimics like a GPU setup for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It still uses a monster of a power supply to plug in. And like in itself, that's fine, but it needs, it can't operate on its own. It needs to either be plugged into a computer and run software, or it needs to be plugged into an orange Pi. It's just a really odd setup. It is a very, very difficult thing to get stable. And I've updated the firmware on everything. And I just got so frustrated with it. I went on vacation and I just kind of never looked back uh, for a while. And then I finally got it running, but it is, it, is, it is very unstable. So I feel bad. I never made the video I was supposed to make on it. Here it is now. And we'll see how it does uh, performance wise and uh, profitability wise, but that's the story of that one. I'm kind of bummed about it, beat myself up about it, but it's just, you know, what am I gonna do? It's a really difficult piece of hardware to work with. I'm sure a bunch of other YouTubers made videos on it. You can go check those out. Um, and then that leaves us with my favorite, which is the Jazz Miner X16Q. So this thing is amazing. Let's get this thing out of here. This thing is amazing. Um, the performance on it is exceptional. It is very, very quiet, especially compared to the X41U. This thing is almost whisper quiet and I have it running on performance mode right now for the most amount of hash and I can barely hear the fans. Plug this in, throw it on Wi-Fi and it can mine and it can be a little heater. It can do 
uh, dual mining. Um, it can do everything, and it's just been exceptional, and I absolutely love it. So actually, thanks again. I feel super lucky and appreciated for Jingle Mining sending this over to me. Links for this stuff's down in the description. It's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because this is what I'm doing anyway uh, in my own time here, so I figured to make a video. So that is everything. That's the iPolos. Those are the Jazz Miners. There's a bunch of other ETC home ASICs out there um, that you guys can check out. But, you know, ultimately I would say, like, I think this stuff has stayed relatively profitable even with the prices where they are now and even with residential electric rates. So as far as, like, longevity, I'm actually really impressed. But actually, we're going to take a look at that. That's, that's my feeling on most of these. We're going to take a look at that. So uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull up some charts on the screen here. Uh, and what you're looking at is a bunch of the testing that I have done. And I have this sorted by the most amount of hash rate that the miner can get. And you can see I have a 3070 down on the bottom to compare it to just to give you a little bit of context as to what these can do compared to what was, once upon a time, amongst the most efficient uh, GPUs for mining Ethereum. Uh, the Jazz Miner has a bunch of different modes on it. The X16Q, you can see them there. Performance mode, obviously giving the most. And then the bar right under that in like the darker blue is the amount of power. What I like to look at here is just hash rate in comparison on all of these. So, I mean, looking at that iPolo V1, it just is such a small amount of hash compared to the Jazz Miner. Even looking at that 3070, compared to a V1 is just such a small amount of hash rate. But the other one that I'm gonna pull up here is we're gonna look at the efficiency and have everything here, no surprise, Jazz Miner X16Q in efficiency mode coming out on top. You can also see that all these other miners now, and this has been with some updates, have multiple modes. The Jazz Miner X41U's got different uh, clock frequencies that you can run it at, not too much of a difference there in performance in my testing with my unit. And then the X1 and then the uh, iPolo V1 both have energy and hash rate based modes. But what I really wanna talk about is getting into looking at some of the profit numbers uh, for these machines, just to see if it makes sense for me to run them here at home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and head over to uh, my sheet here, which has all of that raw information and the charts that we were just looking at. And then I also want to use this website, which is mindtheasic.com. They're like the only one that I've found that has actually Ethereum Classic plus Zilliqa um, as a way to calculate your revenue and your profit. So we're going to take a look at that. And what I think I might be surprised about, this is something I learned a long time uh, in my ago in my YouTube journey, but definitely at the mercy of some comments, is... Efficient, the most efficient may not be the most profitable depending on your electric rate. And so we're gonna figure that out right now. So let's just take a look at, we'll just start at the top, performance mode for the Jazz Miner X16Q, which can dual mine. Let's see with my electric rate if this thing is gonna be profitable. So we're gonna do 200, uh, 2,216 mega hash for 711 watts. Let's just go ahead and put that in. So we've got 2216 for 711 watts. Let's go ahead and calculate that. Uh, so I'll be making an in profit $4.69 per day. And I'm curious, let's do efficiency mode. We'll jump down to there to see if that's gonna be more profitable or less profitable. So 2009 for 579. 2009 for 579. Calculate that, and then we're coming in at 447, which is less profit. So it makes more sense for me to run this miner on performance mode. Uh, let, let's see what else can do dual mining here. Let's look at the X1. Uh, we're gonna do both modes here. So we'll do hash rate mode, which is 340 for 267. Let's check that out. What's my take home there? Uh, 19 cents, take 19 cents in profit, whoa, good day. Uh, energy mode, 302 for 213. Let's see, 
Ooh, 25 cents, quarter a day. Okay. Hey, profits, profit. Don't be laughing over there watching this. I'm nervous about this one. If that's coming up that low, let's see. I Polo V1 Classic. Let's just, yeah, let's just do both. 283 for 258. 283, 258. Let's see what we get. Four cents. I cannot believe I'm making money on that thing. So energy mode's got to be making more, right? 233 for 207. Let's see. Five cents. Whoa, went up a cent. All right, so I'm pretty much rich uh, at this point. Um, okay, let's look at... It's going to bug you guys that I didn't do this one, isn't it? So I'm just going to do it. So uh, 2083 for 622. I, I know. 2083, 622, 456, okay, happy, hope you're happy, all right, so we got to do the X41U, and that one cannot dual mine, so I got to go over here and change this to just ETC, and I know there's other coins that you can, you can mine with this, but we're just going to use this one, keep it all the same, let's change that electric price back to my current, Price and let's see, uh, hash rate 581 for 300. You making any money? You're making nine cents, nine cents a day. Woo! And let's see, 516 for 262. And we are making nine cents on that. Okay, yeah, there's not much difference in the efficiency numbers on those. All right, so everything is making money. So plans. Um, I'm going to get this stuff kind of like dispersed throughout my house just to keep some things warm. And they're pretty quiet. This one's probably going to go back in the garage because it's really loud. But I think um, this one might go in the trash. Not really. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> the like button if you did, sub to the channel for more mining, crypto content, doing it all at this point. Uh, join Discord, social media links all in the description below. Referral links and stuff to help out the channel are also down there, much appreciate it. And I think that's it. So as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.